Welcome to Promethean, a UK-based pioneer in interactive classroom technology. Aims to unlock the potential of human achievement in education and training. Now let's have a demonstration of interactive whiteboard. Hello everybody, my name is Ruchita Nakwa. I am here to demonstrate on Promethean Interactive Boards. Promethean is a UK based company. What set it apart from other boards is the toughness, the toughness of the board, the batteryless pens. The pen doesn't have any battery or cell inside the pen. Pen works similar as the mouse as we have in our desktop the left click is the tip of the pen and the right click is the button over here what we have then we have this software called active inspire which is similar to paint what we have in our computers but it is much more advanced than what we have in our paint first we'll see how to change the board color we don't need to use only white page we can use any different colors whichever color we want we can just go on selecting the colors and whichever color we want on the screen can be brought on the board we can shift on the next page then we have pen with four different widths the minimum width of the pen is two the maximum width is eight and if we want more thicker than that we can just drag this particular bar and have the width of the pen again we are not stuck to one particular color we can have any color pen on the board similar to pen we have eraser Again with four different width, this is the minimum eraser what I have. We can extend the eraser and have the maximum eraser on the board. Whatever has been erased on the boards can be brought it back doing undo. We can skip on next page. Then we have ready made shapes over here. You can select our own particular shape like triangle and drag your pen on the board. Then we can select the cursor, drag it anywhere on the board. We have the options available at the top like first is the dragging icon, we can drag the particular object, we can rotate the particular object. Now whatever options are available at the top are available for every shape, image, object, any annotation you write or any text you type. The next is the commands cut, copy, paste, duplicate, delete, transform, reorder, lock. Then we have a transluency tool which makes your top image invisible. Then we have a group icon like we have two objects on the board and if I want to make any symbol out of this we just give different colors and if I want them that the board should move together I'll group them together and when I'm dragging them they move together if I want to ungroup them I can ungroup it and keep it aside if I want the star in front then I can want I can keep it at front or send it behind or again get it in the front so bring forward and send backward options are there now if you have drawn any object any symbol out of this and you want three four duplicates out of that if you don't need any object you want to lessen the object you can just drag it to dustbin if you want to resize the size smaller you can resize the particular object size then we have the stars to increase the size directly from here and the smaller star to decrease it. We can increase the size from the dots also. Then we have edit shape points like if I want a 90 degree triangle, I can just extend it and have a 90 degree triangle, a acute triangle or an acute triangle. So whatever shape I want to change, I want to make of the triangle, I can do that using edit shape points. Next tool called handwriting recognition tool where teacher writes in her cursive writing that would get converted to a text writing. With a small dictionary, if I have any made any mistake out of that, if instead of welcome, I want welcomes, that S would be added over here. If I want to do it, the previous one, I'll get the previous one. If I want to change the color, I can simply change the color using the fill tool. I can drag the particular object, or if I want to add something to that, I can use the text, click, Instead of going to the laptop, I can have an on-screen keyboard over here and just go on typing whatever you would like to. 
when you have finished you want to change the text or the font you can change the font same as an uh, text or computers what we have the keyboard if you want to change the color you can change the color next is shape recognition tool where you draw a free hand shape that would get converted to a perfect shape whichever shape you draw a circle oval rectangle square triangle that shape would convert to a perfect shape then we have math tools first is ruler we can drag the ruler anywhere on the board we can adjust the ruler minimum centimeters or 5 centimeters maximum how much you want you can just go on increasing the ruler then we have the top scale if you want to adjust the top scale millimeter centimeter inches you can adjust it same with the bottom scale and if you want to see the angle the angle can be seen over here then to draw a line just place your pencil pen on the ruler and drag your pen you are going crooked then also you will get a straight line on the board the next tool we have the compass now to draw a circle we have to just place our pen on the pencil and turn around a circle over here we can adjust the compass rotate the compass adjust the radius from here and if you want to draw a smaller circle over here you can draw that also then apart from the software like if you want, don't want to use the software you want to use your desktop page or any other folder or file on the desktop then instead of minimizing the software or closing my software we have the option called desktop annotation i have a option called desktop annotation which takes you to the desktop itself from here you can access your desktop you can open any folder or file from here if you have any notes you can underline that particular notes or if you want to highlight that particular notes or if you want any shape to be drawn you can do everything you can edit the shape similar to desktop annotation we have a desktop tool which gets you on the desktop with this circular image where we have keyboard camera tools video recording express poll return to flip chart and web page we'll go with camera first we have five different types of cameras we usually go with area snapshot so that we get a perfect area whichever picture we have taken from outside the software is there in your software so this again if you want to resize it you can resize it if you want to annotate on this you can annotate select it group it and you can save it till now whatever pages we have made is temporarily saved over here this can be used as a revision part she can save this particular pages in the library same as we go with file and save as and give the particular name or subject name to the file then second is resource browser where we have resources called my resource and shared resource my resource is the teachers resource where teachers has to create her own resources like as we have created one picture and we have labeled it if i want to store it show it in the next class or next day so instead of doing it again the next day i have the ready made picture over here i can similarly just drag it to my library and this is permanently saved in your library the next is resource browser in resource browser we have some ready made resources in built pictures over here so if you want for primary the next is other subjects like geography history science if you are teaching a hard diagram in a classroom just drag your hard diagram outside tool called reveler tool which will hide my page and i can drag the reveler and just go on teaching with my subject now this reveler tool works from all the four sides similar to reveler we have a spotlight option where you can spot at a particular part and just drag the spotlight wherever you want it now this is circular spotlight the next is square spotlight you can adjust the spotlight if you want it now the advanced tools now first part was the basic tools what we can just use the toolbox and create it on the board the next is the advanced part like we can give the commands to some flip charts and create some pages over here like first is to see with the geography like we have this map and we have some states given here at the side some of us really don't know which state lies where so here we can have we have given already commands whichever state i'll click that state would reflect on the map as an arunachal pradesh when i click i'll get that particular place arunachal pradesh on the map similarly with the other states whichever state i would click 
that states would reflect on the page. We have the solar system where we need to place the particular planets where does it lies and then we can give such commands where the planet would move only on its orbit. It won't go somewhere else, it will move only on its orbit. We can add videos, add sound to that particular flip chart. Next is for primary. Whatever we are creating in our uh, session, it's not only for primary, same tools can be used for secondary also. Like we have created some flip charts over here, like the right word, right alphabet should come at the right block and if the wrong answer has been uh, dragged, that would return back to its place. Like the answer would be U, if I drag by mistake A over here, that will return back to its place. Only U will stay uh, at this place and the answer is gun and drug. Then we have a crossword sort of thing. Students can look at the pictures and answer the crossword or just hear the sound, what the sound is of and then answer the particular crossword. The next is annotating work where teachers or the students can come on the board and write. The rhyming words. Next is using a fill tool. I can just use a fill tool and the color to answer the particular block. So the higher than answer would be above, lower than, below. So this way you can just click on the particular object and get the answers. Then we have the answers given, their mother is a dog, so answer would be puppies. Their mother is a cat, the answer would be kitten. Next, just select the color and fill the colors in the particular block. Then again, the sky is blue, click, the grass is green, you get your answers, the milk is white. Next, we'll go to history. Now here, one tool works called as transluency tool. So what is the difference between the old and new, the ancient and modern? Next, match. I'll get the Ashwagosha's answers from the match the column. Bhasa, Swapna, Vasa, Vasa Vardhatam. So this way, by just clicking, you'll get all the answers on the board. The next tool is video recording tool. Now, if the teachers want to record the lectures in the classroom for the students or for uh, next lecture or next uh, academic year, so they can record the lectures previous and then they can show it in the classroom. Now, it can be used as like live, uh, live recording or the teachers can prepare the slide at first and then record the particular lectures. So, first we need to mark our area. Start your recording, save your recording wherever you want it. When the recording has started, just skip on the pages. Page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, page 5, page 6, page 7, Page 8, page 9, page 10, page 11, page 12. When you finished, just stop the recording and play your recording. So whatever you have recorded, the video as well as your voice would get recorded when you are recording a particular lecture.